What's good guys? Um, I'm about to head to London. Got a posing class with Audrey at 12.30 p.m. Uh, so I'm, I'm pretty much early, I'm on time. It's a bit chilly. Um, I'm gonna take you guys with me today. I'm gonna introduce you to some of the uh, other competitors as well that's gonna be competing. Um, need to get myself on camera, get used to the camera again. Um, I'm a little bit tired, but it's all right. Once my breakfast kicks in a bit more, I might get another coffee and then I'll, I'll be good to go. Um, let's do this. This is Woking. It's a shithole. Yeah. Getting trains into London through the underground is always a massive pain in the ass, but um, I think I've got to go to Baker Street and then yeah. from Baker Street to, uh, to Farringdon. When I lay down and go to sleep, I keep on hearing voices. Little whispers in my head, man, is you fake a lawyer? Why no water? That's the sign of baby picky poison. These little demons living underneath my bed, creeping. Know the real monster lives above them all, sleeping. That subtle breathing in your closet every single evening. Thought you never see me again. Looks can be deceiving. When they hear the sound of the drum, they'll be saying, Oh Lord, here they come. Yeah, here we come. Huh, here we come. <laughs> here we come. Here we come. I used to think that people die because they wicked nowadays People wanna see you dead because you gifted Been ready for my tomb since I came up out the womb So no matter what, I'm coming back and paying you a visit Saw it coming, I predicted, but y'all wouldn't listen Okay guys, I just arrived to my final stop um, I'm like 45 minutes early before this class So I'm just gonna get coffee And then head over We'll be saying so one of the hardest thing about London is all the amazing food they have here. There's a burrito place, a burger place, and I'm eating chicken and broccoli. It's all good though, we got a Starbucks. Let's go do some posing. I'm in what is a basement pretty much, but it's a secret room for posing. Hey, Mason, so I teach you. <laughs> Tell them your uh, Instagram name. So I am Max Rose, um, competing in Miami Pro. 16 days now. Let's see the shreds. Shreds are coming. Wait, you got to get the light. It's coming. Slowly but surely. Get in there. Bring it on. How we went? Fight. Show the show, show the shreds. Show the shreds. The shreds so far. Fucking hell, what category are you competing in and what competition? Men's physique, PCA in Birmingham. What's your name as well? Jean-Claude What's your Instagram name? Instagram. What's your Instagram name? Jean-Claude. Jean Jean say again, Jean-Claude. Jean-Claude B. Okay, I'll put it on the tag. Cool man, that's it. Thanks man. <laughs> been absolutely destroying them though. Okay. Condition is coming. Yeah. Um, no, I need to put, get bronzed. Get bronzed. Uh, okay, yeah. uh, that, should we get a discount? We'll get bronzed apparently. That's a good idea. Yeah. Richard, mate, how are you feeling after your first posing class? Second posing class? A bit better today, actually. Yeah. You're in a, an well, example of what healthy fitness model is. Fagging on. <laughs> Full he's got, gear. he's got, he's got his mellow, mellow tan on. Yeah, full of gear. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Draw your salt out and then up your water. Then the day before the show, see you later. Sarah, so are you coming to station, yeah. Richard? Yeah. Okay, guys, that is posing class done. Uh, it's a long trip to London, but it's worth it. Audrey's amazing. Big up Audrey, if you're watching this. You probably aren't, let's be honest. But yeah, awesome class. Um, I'm gonna get home and I've got to get to work. I've got two more clients, personal training. Um, and then I've got to train myself. I've got to train back today. So deadlifts again, pull-ups. Um, but yeah, was a good class and I'll catch you guys in a bit. What's up guys, I'm back in my car. So I'm checking out nothing in my teeth. Just eating a meal. Um, that's, uh, that's posing class done for the day. So it's kind of like a long trip into London, but luckily I knew the route I was going this time. Yeah, last time I went really long way. 
it's a massive pain in the ass and it just took longer and it was annoying i had to go up and down escalators and this way it was quick it was painless and most important it was stress-free you'd be surprised how much like stress and just releasing cortisol into your body can negatively affect your body when you don't need it when you do need it when you're about to train you know when you're about to do um cardio just whenever you need to be in a fight or flight situation where you actually need the extra adrenaline um you know it can be uh performance enhancing but obviously when you're just walking around the street you don't want to be like jacked off your mind and adrenaline um but yeah posing class done i'm gonna go back to work now i've got two more clients uh for work i had a class this morning so two more clients train them and then i'm gonna eat some more carbs uh sorry more i say more carbs I haven't handed yet but i'm gonna have some carbs um probably have oats and protein powder my favorite thing ever yeah i'm gonna eat some uh carbs and then what's I'm up train. it's friday night so when else is out there partying i'm gonna be in here working so i'll work out today we got deadlifts. I don't know how heavy I'm gonna go because my back's a little bit tight. Um, I can feel it cramping up a bit posing class earlier. And also, I mean, it's quite late. Those kind of sound like excuses, don't they? But we're gonna go heavy on deadlifts. We're gonna do some T-bar rows. We're gonna do some dumbbell rows. Um, and then we're gonna do some lat pull down and maybe some pull ups. Uh, just getting the volume, also maybe a little bit of bicep work. What I'm doing is each session push and pull workout. So I do those twice a week. I'm just adding in like one or two tricep and bicep exercises. So tricep at the end of my push, bicep at the end of my pull. Just get that added frequency and get to look for the uh, arms so I retain some size uh, on top of an arm session as well. So that's working quite well. My arms are actually way better than my last prep. Let's get this workout underway. All know as well guys, a lot of people just leave out the big lifts like squat, deadlift um, when they get near the end of their prep because they don't want to injure themselves and that and I completely understand that but deadlifts have been such a good mass builder for me, for my back I want to keep including them as close as I can till the end of like this prep and I've got obviously two competitions as well so I want to make sure I get in the deadlifts because I don't want to not deadlift now and then not deadlift for six weeks I'm going to make sure I keep doing them as long as your form is good, you're hydrated Getting enough calories, you're not gonna die, you'll be fine, okay? Trust me.
but we are smashing it guys like i'm so focused i'm going for the win so i'm gonna let you guys go here um hope you guys have a great day and i'll speak to you guys soon